So last but not least, I have to introduce my husband. And um, I don't know what he's going to do or what he's going to say. He would not share with me. And even looking around surreptitiously to try to find out so I could edit what he was going to say. <laughs> Um, I found nothing. So he's done a very good job keeping it for me. Um, but Mr. Jack. Every gathering needs a song, but I won't sing. <laughs> somewhat changed a poem that he wrote to a woman. I know a woman, lovely with her words. When long vowels sigh, she will sigh back at them. And when she writes, she writes in more ways than one. The tales a bright cover can contain. Of her choice virtues, only editors should speak or English poets who grew up on Greek. I've had them sing in chorus, in chorus, cheek to cheek. How well her instincts are, she strokes her pen, she taught it turn and count to turn and ampersand, she taught it touch and how to count to ten. We learn deeply from her skillful hand, she is the sickle and she is the rake, going head on, for her instincts' sake, and what prodigious mowing she did make. All art loves candor and adores a muse. Her full lips pursed, barren, no verb to seize. She plays it quick, she plays it not to lose. Our eyes, they dazzle at her passing breeze. Her several parts can certainly compose, in one lip quiver with a mobile nose, she moves in circles, and those circles rose. Let seed be grass, and grass turn into hay. She's martyr to emotion, not her own. What's freedom for? To know eternity? I swear she cast a shadow white as bone. But who would count eternity in days? We all benefit from her wants and ways. She measures time by how an artist sways. Thank you, Linda.